Can you imagine being behind the wheel of an Indy race car? You're going around the track at more than 230 miles an hour. Other cars are vying to take your spot, all trying to win the largest single day sporting event in the world. Well, that's what our next guest knows firsthand as a former Indianapolis 500 champion and five time NTT IndyCar Series champ. He is a member of Pittsburgh's own Chip Ganassi's famed racing team, and we are so happy to have this racing legend here with us today. Welcome NTT IndyCar Series driver Scott Dixon. Thank hey. you for being here. No, thanks for having me. It's a, it's a pleasure to be back in Pittsburgh, and, and uh, maybe I can grab lunch with Chip later today or something. You know? <laughs> you're just hanging out with Chip Ganassi. That's, That's right. what happens. That's right. So tell us why you're in Pittsburgh. So this is part of a publicity tour, basically, right? Yes, it is. So it's uh, it's Indy 500 Media Week. You know, So we uh, we actually just uh, finished one of the last practices. We have one more practice this Friday on Carb Day, uh, but we practiced yesterday. And uh, then they send all 33 drivers on a media blitz throughout the uh, throughout the United States. So it's uh, I got super lucky, man. I'm in Pittsburgh. <laughs> and you do have a Pittsburgh connection, PNC Bank, on the side of your race car. And Chip Ganassi's racing team is actually headquartered here, right? Yeah, Chip is based uh, in Pittsburgh. Has always been. Uh, we have a you know Indianapolis uh, office, and then also one in Charlotte for the NASCAR team. But um, yeah, you know, uh, with PNC coming on last year. Um, it's been a, a huge partnership and, and one that we're very proud of and, and you know what better way for, for them to come in. We, we went on to win the championship last year and, and uh, get that PNC Bank number no. 9 in, in victory circle. But uh, yeah, this week is all about the Annapolis 500 and uh, trying to capture my second Annapolis 500 and I think Chip's fifth or sixth. Now, do you have rituals that you go through? I mean, are, are you superstitious at all? Are there things you will do leading up to race day to prepare that are kind of unique? Yeah, it's kind of, it's funny. I think everybody has a little thing that they maybe do. For me, it's just I got to make sure that I get some food. If, if, if I don't eat, I get, <laughs> I get hangry, man. And then it's not, that's not a great way to race, especially to start a 500 mile race. But um, no, you know, I think uh, it just keeping it basic. For me, I like to have some quiet time before the race, you know, even take a nap. You know, it, it sounds kind of strange for a lot of people, but I think when the nerves build up and, you know, the uh, anticipation of, of, you know, this, this is our largest race, you know, for the season. You know, you get nervous and, and you kind of want to take a bit of a sleep. So that's what I try to do, at least for maybe 20 minutes before. But uh, realistically, you know, the 500 morning is just so busy. You have a ton of media in the morning, the green room, the ceremonies, you know, it all kicks off. So it uh, really is just getting in the car. But some people, yeah, tap the car in certain places or wear colored, you know, socks or, right. or whatever you don't it do is. That. I don't do any you of that. Eat and have a nap. That's right. I okay. put my right glove on before my left. That's the only other okay. thing I do. So. <laughs> All right, so you're driving on the race course at like 200, 230 miles an hour. What's it like when you get behind the wheel in everyday life? Like, do you do you find yourself, it feels like slow motion? Do you, do you have an urge to speed when you're like driving to a restaurant or something? It's tough. Uh, <laughs> the transition, especially if you've had a bad race, you know, you know, right. you, you, you kind of, uh, or, or you're, you know, having to get somewhere. But no, like, I think that the difference is, it's just so different. You know, the car is very low. It, it, you know, you're going extremely fast. I think once you get into a road car, and a lot of the time I'm kind of just cruise anyway, but I've, I've had my, you know, speeding tickets of appreciation throughout oh, yeah. my life. I'm actually on a good roll. I haven't had, had any for years. You know, okay. hopefully I haven't just jinxed that. But uh, yeah. no, you know, it's, it's so different. You know, I think for, for even when you're in the car doing, you know, 230, 240 miles an hour, you know, everything around you is moving at similar speeds apart from the wall, right? So mm -hmm. it's really only comes to, uh, you know, you notice the speed when you lose control of the car. So the rest of the time it feels quite comfortable. Now, you grew up in New Zealand. What was it that attracted you to this? Is it the speed, the adrenaline rush? Is it, does it scare you sometimes? Uh, you, yeah, I guess you get scared. You know, uh, 2017, we had a, a, a very large accident at Indianapolis for the, in, during the 500 and, and flew through the air for over 350 you know, yards, I think. It was, it was a very big one. But, oh, wow. you know, the safety has come a long ways. Uh, but yeah, I started in New Zealand. My family loved racing. They, my dad raced in many club level sports uh, in, race, in motor racing. But then it was when I saw my cousins race go-karts and I you know, bugged my parents. I'm like, can, you know, can we get a go-kart? <laughs> and sure enough, two weeks later, and, and that's what kicked it off. And at the age of seven, I've been racing ever since. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a sport I have a lot of passion for. And, I'm very lucky to, to be one of the best, uh, be with one of the best teams in the business. And you're a great spokesperson for it. Hey, tell us about your wife too, because she is a champion of a different sort, right? 
Yeah, Emma's uh, Emma's a, was a runner for Great Britain, 800 metres. So yeah, I, I always say I work uh, with the most competitive person, Chip Ganassi Racing, or Chip himself, and then you know I have to go home and be with the most competitive <laughs> person too that I've ever met with Emma. So it's uh, it's a lot of fun, but I think it really helps, you know, with with what she knows about sport and pushing the limits, has really helped, you know, in, in some of the other portions of my life too. Does she watch, or does, does it, is it nerve-wracking for her to watch? No, she does. I think she, she understands the risks. We all understand the risks, and, and you know, occasionally we do see you know, the, the, the bad side of that. But uh, no, you know, I think she understands you know, what I'm doing, what I absolutely love, and it's my passion. And you know, it's been big for us and our family and you know, our two little girls, you know, Poppy and Tilly. So it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a fantastic sport, and you know, IndyCar racing right now is on the up and up. We'll be able to watch it on TV, but explain to us what this is like in Indianapolis. This is like a, a whole festival across the city, right? I mean, everyone's into it. It's huge, you know. Indianapolis 500 is still the one, you know, single uh, largest single sporting event in the world, one day sporting event in the world, you know. And and just to see the sheer size of it, but the city, you know, we live in Indianapolis now, uh, have done for for many years, and and just to see it go through. Once you get to that spring, you know, part of the year, you know, that the, the city just transforms. You know, there's checkered flags and all the front, you know, yards of houses, and everybody's at the track. You know, even for qualifying, there's probably, you know, sixty, seventy thousand people that just come out to, to to hang out at the track. So it's fun to see the city and the passion that they have but you know it's what the 103rd 104th running of the Indianapolis 500 the history is just it's 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 amazing well we're so excited that you are here with us and we wish you the very best thank you this pleasure week. to have you thank you thank you very much again the Indianapolis 500 is a Memorial Day weekend tradition don't miss the 103rd running of the most prestigious race in the world it's this Sunday and remember to cheer on Scott Dixon and the Chip Ganassi racing team